I'm so ashamed. So ashamed. YouTube. YouTube. It's your fault. It's your fault, YouTube. You made me buy it. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. It's Nikki here. And I thought it would be fun to do a video today on perfumes that YouTube made me buy. Child. I have been warned over and over again, over again, do not blind buy, do not blind buy, do not blind buy. But what do I do? Blind buy. And I'm going to blame it on YouTube. I'm going to blame it on the YouTubers that I follow. I'm going to blame it on y'all. Because you make the perfume sound so delectable. The way you describe how you feel when you wear the perfume. I want to feel like that too. So today, guys, I'm going to be doing five perfumes that my fellow sisters and brothers here on YouTube made me buy. Before I get into the video, I'd like you to please press the like button, press the subscribe button, leave me a comment below and let me know which fragrances you also blind buy based on somebody else's recommendation. I mean, we all do it, right? Right? <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Let's get started. Now, a couple of videos ago, I did a mini haul of some um, perfume oils that I got from Sephora. I think I did a video on layering, and I was saying that in sometimes when I try to make my fragrance last a little bit longer, I go in with an oil first. The YouTuber that made me buy my perfume oils from the house of Nest. AI the Great. I, I, I'm gonna link all of these channels below so you guys can also go on and be influenced. AI the Great, she did a video featuring, I think it was the vanilla, Madagascar vanilla. And she made this perfume oil sound so delectable. So I went on Sephora looking for it, but then I saw that they had the discovery set of all five cents so i bought this one just to test them out and because i bought this uh discovery set i immediately almost immediately bought the full size bottle of the rose oil now this set contains seville orange ro turkish rose um south pacific, south pacific sandalwood indian jasmine and is another one i can't remember it's just slipped my mind right now but i love the rose and i love the jasmine so when sephora gets another sale i'm gonna go back and i'm gonna get the the jasmine so let me show you the full bottle of the rose isn't this gorgeous look at this <laughs> it's like a beautiful rose pink color oh and this smells absolutely absolutely delicious delicious so what i do as i said in the earlier video i put my cream on my moisturizer cream on i put a couple drops of this and i rub layer this all over my body sometimes if i'm going to bed i'll just wear that by itself or if i'm going out during the day i layer a perfume on top of it that has rose either in the opening or the heart or even in the base or if i just want to jazz up a perfume a little bit i'll go in with this and i'll put my perfume on top of it so this is the nest perfume oil in turkish rose i'm blaming ai the great for this one the next perfume that youtube made me buy is this little beauty right here and this is from the house of rosassi this is jasmine wisp now i'm gonna blame this one on two youtubers not just one two paulina Shar and spicy looks i'm again i'm gonna list their channels below so you can get all included paulina Shar describes the jasmine waist in such a beautiful feminine floral pretty girl summer in a bottle fragrance and then spicy looks came in and added on top of that 
I had to get it, guys. I had to get it. This is described as a fruity floral gourmand. And let me tell you, the fruits are fruiting. The florals are floraling. And even though this, the name of this is Jasmine Wisp, this has no jasmine, at least not listed in the notes on Fragrantica. So let me just tell you, top notes, mandarin, orange, grapefruit, and lemon. So the top is a burst of citruses. The mid notes, we have passion fruit, white flowers, coconut, pear, and peach. Now the coconut in this note, in this perfume is very, very muted. Now, I don't like coconut scents. I don't like them. So I was a bit skeptical when I ordered it. I was like, oh my God, I hope the coconut in this is not off-putting because I already bought it. But thankfully, when I got this Jasmine Wisp, you don't get the coconut. Well, I don't get the coconut. Um, it's, it's undetectable really. And I'm very, very thankful for that because coconut is not my fav favorite scent. But this is a fruity, floral, summer in a bottle, flirty, fun, light, airy, but still has a, a, a great projection, a beautiful sillage. This lasts on your clothes for days and days and days. I have a shawl at work that I wrap in when, you know, when I'm feeling a little bit cold. I wore this uh, perfume to work maybe about two weeks ago. I can still smell Jasmine Wisp on my shawl to this day. So thank you, Paulina, and thank you, Spicy Looks. This was a good one. Jasmine Wisp by Rassassi. Moving on to number three. Now, look at this big old gold box. Let me blind you. This is Oud Desire from the house of Ajmal. Ooh, look at that. Mm, child. I first saw Exotic Scents. This gentleman, I think he's based in India, reviewed this perfume. It's, I think it's unisex. And then I saw a lady called SSD. I think it's SSD Fragrances. I'm, 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 I'm going to put the correct names down um, in the description box. SSD Fragrances. I think she's a Muslim lady. Um, so this is all oud, oud based. And you know, I was on a kick to discover oud and try oud. So when I heard Exotic Scents, he's a gentleman, I rave about this as being one of the creme de la creme and the premium line of Ajman and one of the best oud fragrances he's ever uh, smelled. And then SSD came in and said, you know, this is a beautiful fragrance that she absolutely loved. Look at this bottle. This is opulent right here. <laughs> Can you believe it? This is nice. I wouldn't say I love it yet. I'm still playing with it. Because it has a note in here, I'm not sure what the note is, but there's a note in here that kind of throws me off a little bit. And for me, the oud in this is a little skanky. Um, my colleague at work told me that she didn't smell any skankiness on me, but I can pick up a skanky note. So I'm always a little bit hesitant when I'm wearing this one because I'm always wondering, I wonder if people can smell exactly what I'm smelling. But let me tell you the notes in this one. The top notes, we have rose, jasmine, orange blossom, and bergamot. Mid notes, we have raspberry, black currant, and ginger. So it, you know, it gives you like a, a kick in the, you know, first 15, 20 minutes of the fragrance. It kind of tickles you up in the top of your nose, the ginger. And then in the base, you have oud, musk, sandalwood, and amber. As I said, I'm, saying, I'm still playing with this one. I don't hate it, um, but it's not a love. I mean, I can wear it and I can appreciate the oud in it, but it takes a bit of getting used to it. And I have to be in a particular mood to wear this one. You know, I'm not... I'm not mad. I'm not mad at it. And this was this was at least 150 150 US dollars. So this was a little pricey, but that's what you get for blind buying. So I'm blaming SSD fragrances and exotic scents for this one. Oh desire by the house of Ajma. Now the fourth scent that I was induced by by YouTube and those on YouTube my darling scandal by Jean-Paul Gaultier and I am blaming the YouTuber I think her name is Marie Colette the way she describes scandal is just so intriguing to me she makes it smell like 
a real scandal like this lady is a scandalous lady of the night you know she's in her fishnet stockings and her heels and she's in the nightclub and she's doing scandalous things and i was like ah, i have to have it and i bought it scandal by jean paul gautier now this is described as a cypher i think that's how you call it that's how you pronounce it cypher floral top notes we have blood orange mandarin orange and in the mid note we have this beautiful honey gardenia orange blossom jasmine and peach and in the base we have beeswax caramel patchouli and licorice now this perfume is the honey note for me the honey note hits me like a blast from the beginning and it stays right through the entire experience the entire journey of this perfume but it kind of tones down after a while it's not as much in your face as in the beginning so it's a beautiful honey note i get the white florals and i get the caramel in the dry down jasmine i don't get much of the peach thank god because peach is another note that i'm not so fond of but this is a beautiful and let me tell you this lasts forever on my skin not just my clothes this is a beast on my skin and my skin is dry and it tends to eat perfumes like perfumes generally don't last on me on my skin that well but scandal oh she's scandalous she's scandalous she lasts for a long time so i'm very very glad that i listened to marie colette and i got scandal and the last perfume that youtube made me buy where, oh i have it right here youtube made me buy and i'm blaming youtubers two youtubers two youtubers for this one as well one a beautiful beautiful lady called glam finds and another beautiful absolutely gorgeous young lady called a fragrant glance and this is the armaf club de nuit intense listen this is a cypher floral again top notes rose saffron geranium mid notes nutmeg pepper violet and caraway and in the dry down patchouli vanilla oud and amber now i wore this today at work this is a powerhouse of a fragrance it's beastly in terms of its projection but it is not overpowering at least not i didn't find it was overpowering i think i sprayed kind of heavily with this one um it gives me beast mode for at least about three four hours and then it kind of settles a little closer to the skin when I went for my son in the afternoon time, I asked him if he could smell it. He's like, oh, of course, of course. And he pretended to be, ah, ah, ah. but he just being dramatic. I don't know how strong it really was, but for me, for my nose, it kind of settles into a skin scent after about four hours. But from one to four hours, she's a beast. She's projecting. She has a beautiful sillage about her. She envelops you in a cloud bubble. This is a rose oud mix. Yeah, rose. Because did I tell you the base notes? Patchouli, vanilla, oud, and amber. I couldn't remember if I finished it. So rose, you get rose and saffron and geranium in the in the opening. Those are the, the florals. In the mid notes, you get some beautiful spices. Nutmeg, pepper, violet. Gives it a slight powderiness, but not much. And then the grounding uh, fragrances of the patchouli and the vanilla and the oud. Now, the vanilla in this for me is not sweet, really. Because on my skin, it doesn't pull sweet at all. You just get that nice spicy mid, and then it settles into a nice woody, slightly creamy base. Typical, well, I, sh I shouldn't say typical. Rose Oud combination, um, Armaf Club de Nuit. Now this is, for me, a kind of casual uh, fragrance. This is not, say, like my, um, what's the other one I had? The Niche, Armaf uh our math niche ooh, the, the very um formal type of scent this is a little casual this is more of a club like maybe that's in the name club de nuit nightclub intense um for going out in the evening with your friends having a drink somewhere at a bar very open very inviting very friendly very light-hearted and casual this is this is that girl and again, I blame Glam Finds and I blame a fragrant glance. The way how they describe this, I was like, I have to try it. I think uh, they said, and a couple other YouTubers I saw re uh, review this, 
said that this is a dupe for Tom Ford's Noir de Noir. And I don't have Tom Ford's Noir de Noir, so I cannot confirm or deny, but that's just what they said. Um, oh, and also this, I forgot to tell you, the Jasmine Wisp, the purple one. Um, they said that that was a clone for, a dupe for Kirke by Tiziana Terenti, I believe, and Herba Pura by Zerjoff. Just in case you wanted to try out the alternatives before you commit to the hundreds of dollars to get the real thing. So the fifth uh, fragrance, Armaf Club de Nuit Intense, YouTube made me buy. So guys, that's it for now. That's part one. I'm going to come back with a part two because I have a couple more fragrances that I was induced to buy. But all in all, I am absolutely grateful for my, for my um, purchases. I am enjoying all of them. So thanks to YouTube. Thanks to my fellow um, YouTubers who get on here and kind of hype up these fragrances and make you feel like I have to have it. I have to have it. I have to smell like how they are describing. So guys, if you like this video, like the, just drop me a like, um, leave me a comment and I will come back to you with another video. Thanks guys and goodbye.